Hello, my name is Laura. I'm a tech person. I want to help people understand a little bit more about the technical side and the laws, things like that, in email marketing. So they have all this information here. This is Aweber. And they have this information here that relates to um, fighting against spam, for instance. And companies, big corporations, are fighting against spam by uh, having the backup money, you know, that they have to hire programmers to write up code that will help deter spam messages and bounce them away from the servers so that they're not delivered. Well, you as an individual, you know, that's hard for you to do. And in here, they want, um, in the system, they want you to make sure that you have an email address that is set up w from your own email server, you know, like, or your own domain. Now, what you can do, if you wanted, you can create forwarding email addresses and you can use them for, you know, temporary basis to run an email campaign. And then in that, you can say this is only, this address is only for this campaign. You can do something like that. Um, and again, these things, suggestions that you do, you know, things that you do are to abide by laws, but at the same time protect your time s and effort when you're trying to reach out to customers and some bad person is going to pick up your email and then they're going to spam you. And once they spam a bunch of crap all in your email, it is so time consuming to try to get through it to figure out what's spam and what's not. And it's just a great big mess. So using a temporary forwarding address um, is a good idea. But again, you will have to have a separate domain that's just used for email. So that way you own it. But here's the thing. In domains, you have to, you have to have in, through the registrar, you have to have your name, address, phone number, all that listed there, or pay extra to have it in a privacy listing. Companies can have privacy listings, so why can't individuals? As long as you're doing something that's positive and you put yourself out there in all kinds of other ways to show that, hey, you're a good person, you're providing a good service, you just want privacy, then that should be fine. Uh, but at the same time, these services, I'm trying to find it and I can't find it right now, but these services here like Aweber, they require you to have, because of federal laws, they require you to have um, an actual physical address listed in that's public for anyone who receives an email from you to see. So you can't put your personal address in an email that you want to send to a stranger that's a potential customer that could be a bad person. So you want to make sure and uh, then you have to spend more money to buy some kind of business address. And then at the bus and then that would be money you have to spend every month. So now your email is costing you more money. So, um, doing email campaigns is not simple because of laws and so forth. The actual campaign itself, writing everything up, that's pretty simple. Um, but doing the, oh yeah, okay, this is easy stuff. Doing the campaign itself is much simpler than dealing with all the laws that have to do with you not being able to protect your privacy and you not being able to protect your own time that is very important that you need to use to 
work with your own personal business instead of dealing with, you know, bad people out there who want to send a bunch of spam and stuff and really hurt you. That hurts you. Uh, the person who wants to do the campaign, the people who are, you know, really good programmers in a way where they're sending out a bunch of spam and hurting people, those are the people that are hurting you, the individual. So, all right, well, that's my rant for today. And uh, talk to you later. I'm not going to put my affiliate link for Aweber in here. <laughs> um, I'm going to keep trying to work with Aweber and see what I can do. But, yeah. Um, I'm just not going to. I'm not gonna um uh, not gonna do anything as far as that goes. So yeah, I'm my mind is still trying to figure, okay, you know, how am I gonna do this without buying a business address that I have to pay for every single month. Because sometimes when you start from the bottom up you don't have any upfront money or you don't have any family or you don't have anybody and um so it's not easy. You're you want you have to do all the work yourself. All right, so have a good day, have a good one, and um, I appreciate anyone who watches my videos, and thank you for your support. Um, have a good day. Bye.